number of active fixed-speed cameras across Birmingham, Coventry and the Black Country will be halved from April. It was thought they'd all be switched off after the government slashed council road safety budgets by 50%, meaning they couldn't afford to run them. But now West Midlands Police is paying to keep them at accident black spots. A warning that Katie Rowlett's report contains some flashing images. Good news for some, maybe not for others, as the days of fixed speed cameras aren't over. West Midlands police have found more than a million pounds to keep them running. That's despite the force of being a casualty to the spending cuts, slashing 2,000 jobs in the next four years. They were put in place because the cost of having a police officer or two police officers on a location was impractical. Cameras are there 24 hours a day. They do the role far cheaper than it would to have 100 or more officers just on one location. So money well spent? A view echoed by the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. There is much less money available, so it's important that um, the limited resources are prioritised where they can do the, the greatest good. And in road safety terms, that includes keeping these 100 cameras. At the moment, there are 218 operational fixed speed cameras across the West Midlands force area. In April, that will be reduced to just 100. The force will also be using two mobile camera vans that will work across 19 sites in the region. So 204 will be switched off and it's up to local councils to decide if they want to take them down. The changes will come into force on the 1st of April. Katie Rowlett, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.